The M18 was a really strong year for lightweight systems. In Jiprock we had record volumes that we produced and sold in a really strong market. And it was a great year because Jiprock celebrated 70 years since we first introduced plasterboard into Australia. And so the year was uh, full of great celebrations with customer events throughout the year and around the country. In Cementel we've seen continued growth in what has been a five year strategy around building our capability in creative facades. We've got a product range that architects really, really love and you know our bare stone product which is a concrete look product our surround range you know they've been really selling well and growing strongly in the market in our commercial interior systems we have two um, businesses Himmel in Australia and Potters in New Zealand so Himmel in Australia is a new name to the market it combines what used to be Selector and Al Supply and it um, brings together a complete internal systems offering for the commercial fit out market record volumes brings a lot of operational challenges and the people of Lightweight Systems had to work extra hard last year to make sure that we continue to deliver for our customers. We focus a lot on safety in our business and we've had a ma major program this year around upskilling our drivers, our forklift drivers, to make sure that this highest risk activity is completely safe and managed. Our ambition is to become the world's best supplier of the products and services that we supply. We operate in very competitive markets and the capability of our competitors has increased a lot. So we know that we have to continually improve to make sure that we stay at the forefront. And that involves really focusing on growing our fibre cement and our commercial interiors businesses, continuing to innovate and provide leading products in, in plasterboard. And also really importantly, making sure that our people and our customers have great experiences with us so that, so that we are the company that they want to deal with. The market's been very strong. He was particularly made inroads in detached and multi-residential housing. It's also kept its presence in, in apartment buildings. In terms of new products, we've been very active in, in listening to our customers and developing products that improve the yield in attached uh, dwellings. Uh, we've come up with a very exciting party wall system that's one of the best on the market. We've also developed a range of decorative finishes for Hebel cladding systems in housing and we continue to develop our commercial industrial systems uh, using decorative finishes and also new shapes that go into those projects. With the growth in the business it's given us a great opportunity to expand our capacity. We're halfway through building a, a great new facility next door to us here. It'll be completed in the first quarter of next year and features the highest technology in autoclave aerated concrete in the world at the moment. When we're building a plant like this, it gives us a great opportunity to utilise the, the best in, in, in energy saving techniques. Um, we're recycling a lot of our water here. We're, re we're using the, the steam that we're generating to fuel energy in the plant. So virtually all of the energy that we're, that we're emitting, we're reusing in some way, shape or form. We're also using very efficient motors and lights, um, so solar energy. Um, it's gonna be an exciting uh, plant from that perspective. So one of the challenges when you're building a new plant with this sort of technology and running another plant or an existing plant with, uh, at capacity is how the people all work together and come together to do both at the same time. I'm really proud that the people here at the factory and, and, uh, and our suppliers have done that extremely well and the plant's running to schedule and we're, we're meeting our customers' needs well. AFS has had a very good year. We've uh, reinforced our logic wall, fibre cement face permanent formwork system is the preeminent uh, formwork system with fibre cement facing. Uh, and we've significantly grown our uh, ready wall business. Here at Minto, we've doubled the, uh, the capacity of our production facility. And uh, at the same time, we've also introduced a new range of products. These products are clipped together, um, fully patented and uh, allows installers of permanent formwork to do it from either above or below from the, uh, from the concrete floor. Included in our, our development of our Clip Together product has been our new Easy Fit Corner. Uh, we're exceedingly proud of that uh, Easy Fit Corner because the installation of the reinforcement steel within the, uh, within the formwork is significantly easier than any other uh, PVC formwork on the market. At the moment, users of uh, conventional formwork, uh, reinforced concrete, block work, 
They're beginning to take a really good hard look at permanent formwork and understanding the advantages of it, not the least of which is speed of construction. The future for AFS I think is very bright. We've uh, got a lot of uh, new products um, in the pipeline um, for both Logic Wall and Ready Wall and we're very excited about the growth opportunities, um, particularly into uh, interstate areas in uh, Melbourne and Brisbane that are yet to really uh, grasp the advantages of permanent formwork and we're very hopeful that those areas are going to uh, go ahead significantly in the coming years. CSR Properties had a fantastic year. We've got our projects firing uh, well at Churnside Park, Horsley Park, our rezoning projects that we have at uh, Schofields and other locations. It's been a very rewarding year. Our property project's a little bit different from a standard property developer in that we have a high degree of site rehabilitation we have to do. Being a former quarry, um, we have to rehabilitate these quarry pits. We have to do this work in a fashion that it's geotechnically compliant for then industry then to build on. Our largest project at the moment will be our Schofields project. Schofields will produce in excess of 1,200 residential lots. We anticipate this will be rezoned this year and we have been rehabilitating the property for the past two years. That has entailed moving in the order of around 800,000 cubic metres of material, compacting our pits and engaging with the state government authorities for the rezoning and that has gone very well. Uh, in the pipeline we have uh, further stages at Horsley Park. Uh, our stage two uh, is around 20 hectares of land mass. Uh, we've just completed the first transaction or first tranche of 10 hectares at Horsley Park and have sold that parcel for a record price in Western Sydney. Uh, beyond that, uh, a number of our properties in the process are being rezoned and we're engaging with state government authorities to maximise the opportunities on these sites and also assist the businesses in consolidating operations. We've actually had a record profit and that's really been on the back of the strategy implementation that we rolled out in 2016 focused on a digital strategy which has been making it easier for our customers to do business with us. So to give you an example, over 30% of our orders are now entered digitally into our system. And what this does is it enhances the, the accuracy of those orders and hence the customers getting what they want when they want it. So the second part of our strategy is what we call get the look. Uh, and that's all about getting customers to choose the bricks that they love and make it easier for them to do that. Uh, and what we've done is upgrade our selection centres to be able to make that process really simple. The third part is really looking at the commercial market, what we call go up, and getting bricks back on high rise buildings. That's something we haven't done for over 20 years. And this year we actually launched our Corium solution, which can go up to 30 storeys. And that's a brick facing system that mechanically clips into place uh, and makes it safe and quick to build buildings up to 30 storeys. Our success over the last year has been down to dedication of our people. What we've been doing is growing our constructive culture and what that's meant is focusing a lot more on the safety and working together. What we're really excited about is the year ahead. We've got a lot more uh, innovation coming in that year and it'll be another exciting year for PGH.